What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome back to another What If Pokemon video. So far in the series, I've covered possible Mega Evolutions for the Legendary Birds, as well as Mega Evolutions for the Legendary Regis. But instead of covering another set of possible Megas, today we're gonna take a look at Regigigas and how it could turn out if it received a Primal form. For those of you who played Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald, you probably know about the side quest after beating the game to unlock the Regis. West of Pacific Log Town in Route 132 lies a water current puzzle, and if navigated through correctly, you'll find yourself in a hidden cave known as the Sealed Chamber, which is where you can unlock the three Regi caves around the region. But what I find likely to happen in the upcoming remakes for these games is for Regi Gigas to exist in the Sealed Chamber, but like always, only battleable if you have the three Regis in your party. It's the perfect opportunity to include it in the game, and considering Game Freak had already thrown these Regis in Black 2 and White 2 for the sake of Pokedex completion despite the fact that you could already transfer it from previous games, I have a good feeling about it happening, and I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me, but that's not the point of this video. So far, we have knowledge of two Primal Pokemon in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. Now a Primal form is the original form of a Pokemon, and Primal Reversion is the impermanent reversion to transform that Pokemon to how it was in its prime. Back when Kyogre and Groudon both fought, like the legend says, they were in their Primal forms but have altered over time and lost a lot of their power. Now if that makes sense for Kyogre and Groudon, it definitely makes sense for Regigigas. Just look at Regigigas, it has slow start as its ability, which depicts the idea that it was just awakened after a long time and takes a while to harness the power it has. And that's already enough to tell us that this is not how Regigigas always was, and probably not how it was when it pulled the continents together eons ago. And just take in the fact that Game Freak added in the moss that grew on the inactive Regigigas during all this time into its design. It's almost like they're trying to show us that the Regigigas we know is not the same Regigigas it used to be. Just think about that. Now looking at Regigigas' stats, its stats are amazing. Not only does it have a lot of bulk, but it also has really high attack and speed stats, and essentially being the king of the other Regis, it has a base stat total of 670, showing that it is less of a side legend and a more important one, as opposed to the other three Regis that have a base stat total of 600. But its ability, Slow Start, hinders its potential so much that during those first 5 turns, it's on the same level as a Fion. But after those turns, this thing destroys everything and is really tough to take down. But the fact is that it's hard hard as it can be to deal with, it can also be easy to deal with. Without access to Protect, Sword Stance, or Agility, it has to rely on having a move set to help it stall out those first 5 turns, which only leaves it with 1-2 to two attacking moves, and if it gets burnt, poisoned, or even paralyzed in those 5 turns, it becomes much easier to deal with. It's obvious that Regigigas has a ton of potential that it just can't tap into, but if it were to revert into its primal form, it definitely can. Now, Primal Regigigas is another story. It should get a balanced boost to all of its stats, mainly its attack and speed. Now, there are a few Mega Pokemon out there that get boosts in stats that aren't needed as much, like Metachamp getting a boost to its special attack and Gardevoir getting a boost to its physical attack. But because Regigigas can learn a few attacks from the three Regis, including special attacks from Regiice, special attack is something Regigigas is probably going to get a boost in, even if minor. And with Pokemon being able to learn new moves in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I'm sure Regigigas will get access to more moves from the three Regis. Its current ability, Slow Start, is like I said before, obviously a result of it just being awakened after thousands of years. So in its true primal form, it wouldn't make sense for it to still retain Slow Start. And if that ability is lost after transforming into its primal form, the effect of it will be nullified just like using Gaster Acid on a Regigigas. And that already doubles its potential. But when it comes to what ability primal Regigigas could have, there are so many options. It could have another holdback ability like Defeatist, a new ability like an ability that boosts the power of rock ice and steel moves or a basic ability like pressure all of which are very possible even pressure as they gave both mega mewtwo's a very basic ability like this to go with their overpowered stats but there are a ton of options so be sure to let me know what ability you think primal reg gigas could have in the comments below not just limited to existing abilities but also new abilities it could have but with boosted stats and nothing holding it back reggie gigas is definitely going to become much more used again and as we've seen with mega audino game freak is trying to revamp less used Pokemon to make them more used, making the possibility of Primal Regigigas that much more likely. The fact that Primal Reversion takes you back to your original appearance makes sense to why Kyogre and Groudon look different, but not as different as a Mega would, which is why it's so fitting to Regigigas. It shouldn't be trying to move a step forward like a Mega, but rather how it used to be like. The moss on its shoulders and feet being a part of its current appearance shows how it's been inactive for a long time and has altered over time, and the black markings on its body seem very similar to the markings on Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. After undergoing Primal Reversion, it should be able to keep us intact of looking at it as the lead 
leader. So this is a very fitting design we came up with. In this design, it gains minor characteristics from all of the Regis while having that powered up look. Just like Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon, the markings on its body grow and put out that surge of aura along with its other features growing out. This design ultimately makes it look less mobile and more swift and powerful. This right here is exactly how I see Regigigas looking back in the day when it was putting the continents together as Kyogre and Groudon were fighting. Now again, as we've seen with Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon, there are new moves being implemented in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. In one of the trailers, Primal Kyogre can be seen using a new water attack and Primal Groudon can be seen using a new ground attack. Now this can mean one of three things. Either Kyogre and Groudon will naturally learn new moves on level up in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, or transforming into your Primal form will replace a certain move with a new one, or Primal Pokemon will gain a special fifth move. But to me, the likeliest option seems to be that Primal does Evolution will transform specific moves into new ones, just like Kyurem's Glacier could transform to either Ice Burn or Free Shock. It makes sense that as the Pokemon transforms into its primal state to regain its power, that its signature move also reverts back to how it originally was. I've always looked at Kyogre's signature move as Water Spout and Groudon's signature move as Eruption, and Camerupt and Wailord essentially being mini versions of the two. And if Camerupt or Wailord went Mega, I can see them picking up Kyogre or Groudon's weather abilities. But anyways, similar to Water Spout and Eruption is Regigigas' signature signature move Crush Grip which does more damage the more health the opponent has left. If morphs do morph into another move through Primal Reversion, then Crush Grip will likely be Regigigas' replacement move. For example, imagine a Regigigas knowing Crush Grip transforming into its Primal form and Crush Grip morphing into a new move that's much better. It's all food for thought, but all in all, I find it almost impossible for Game Freak to not give Regigigas a Primal form, but let's just hope that they do it in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. If you guys haven't done so yet, check out the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire shirts. The campaign will end in two weeks, so be sure to pick your side as Team Alpha or Team Omega and pick one up. And for those of you concerned about the gold, don't be, as there are enough shirts reserved already to where it'll still be shipped out even if the gold isn't reached. But anyways guys, that's it for this video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know your thoughts on Regigigas receiving a promo form and your thoughts on how you think it'll turn out, from its stats to its abilities, new moves and more. There's a lot more Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire content to come, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want to see a video on how Regirock, Regice, and Registeel could turn out after Mega Evolving, go ahead and check out the video on the left. You can also hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified each time I upload a video.